Hi, Hiram here. I got a comment from JP the Man One. He said, and I quote, I just want to give a heads up. I buy methanol at my local race shop for four fifty a gallon. That would save you a lot of cash. Uh, it is the fuel that is run in all top alcohol dragsters and boats. So I figured I'd check it out. Turns out methanol suppliers can usually be found in your yellow pages. In my case it was under auto racing cars. I found a place called Kelly Racing Fuels in my in my area. Well, Bryanicksville actually, but that's pretty close to Allentown. So <clears throat> I took a trip out to Kelly Racing Fuels and met up with a man, Richard Perone. Where is this? I'll blow this up, but this is his card. Uh, met with him and over the we spent about 45 minutes where he proceeded to give me a education in all you want to know about methanol. He started with it. You can usually find methanol or rather if you can't find methanol in your phone book call up your local racetrack and ask them who supplies them with their methanol. He had said that you can usually find race, race tracks that use this stuff in just about every state. So I bought a gallon of it. It's double A grade, pharmaceutical grade, 99.95 percent pure methanol. Had to bring my own container. He gave me a sticker to put on it. But at four dollars divided by 128 fluid ounces per gallon, that comes out to 3.1 cents per fluid ounce. For a comparison, that heat that I bought for $1.46 plus tax, or tax not included, that worked out to 12.1 cents per fluid ounce. Amazon sells methanol. I looked it up last night. They have a 950 milliliter container. That's about a quarter gallon for $5.95 plus $8.09 shipping. And that works out to 40 cents a fluid ounce. Gonna have to be fast here. My temperature's going up on my water. But you may ask, what is methanol? Methanol is the simplest alcohol containing one carbon of atom. Yeah, come on, one atom of carbon. If you look at the chemical symbol for it, it's H CH3. OH. Now if I remember my chemistry right, that's a an atom of carbon with three hydrogen atoms connected to it, connected to an oxygen atom, which then is connected to a atom of hydrogen. So that's what it would look like. That's why I think we get very little soot because there's only one atom of carbon in it or any soot at all. Uh, see my notes here. It's a colorless, tasteless liquid, although I don't know why you'd want to taste it, with a very faint odor and is commonly known as wood alcohol. Methanol is less flammable than gasoline and results in a less severe fire when it does ignite. The boiling point of methanol is 64 degrees, 64.7 degrees centigrade or 148.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's within like a, a degree I think of what we came up with with denatured alcohol or heat. Uh, methanol can also be made from renewable resources such as wood, municipal solid wastes, and sewage. You may ask, is methanol poisonous? Heck yes. It's highly toxic and should never be taken orally. A few teaspoons of methanol can cause blindness and a few tablespoons can be fatal if exposure is not treated. 
uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it should be noticed that noted that the human body can metabolize and eliminate low concentrations of methanol with no ill effects. Methanol is present in many cooked vegetables, and the artificial sweetener in diet sodas breaks down into methanol during digestion. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, methanol burns 25% as fast as gasoline, and methanol fires release heat at only one-eighth the rate of gasoline fires. Uh, Richard told me that that's why they use it, because it helps keep the engine cylinders a little bit cooler than gasoline. Uh, let's see what else. Pure methanol burns with a light blue flame that is not easily seen in bright sunlight, so you have to be careful with it when you're outside, as with almost any other alcohol or fuel that we use. A good thing to have, you can download these from the internet at a number of places, it's a material safety data sheet on methanol. This gives you all kinds of information on handling, what to do with accidental release, and all that information. So, before this gets going, this heats up too much just from room temperature. I'm already up to 58 degrees. I have one fluid ounce of methanol here. Yes, the glass has been washed out with methanol and then fresh stuff put in. That's one fluid ounce. I'm using the same stove that I used with the other tests. So that means I have to let this burn for 30 seconds before I put the pot on it. One, we get rid of this. Start that up. Oops. I'm hoping that this will burn, have a boiled result, just about like heat or the denatured alcohol because I like using this and saving some money. Plus, this is a little less hazardous when you spill it. I was looking at the reports for it. You have to have something like, I don't know, I'm just picking a number here, um, 500 gallons or something, something huge you have to dump out before you have to call people in on it. Oops. Okay, so there's that. We're already a little bit late. Okay, and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 549, and let's see what run out is. Okay, looks like just about going, going, oh, still going. Just ran out at 927. So, now you may have noticed when I showed you the second camera view, one thing I forgot was to wipe off the pot. It's 80% humidity right now, it's raining outside. This pot was covered in sweat, condensation, and the bottom there were big drops hanging off of the thing. So that probably threw the timing off a little bit. Just for comparisons, <clears throat> this test today, two cups of water starting at 59 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 49 seconds. If I subtract the 30 seconds, no actually it was 35 seconds. Hang on. 35 seconds, that would make that 5 minutes and 14 seconds for it to come to a boil. And then it ran out in 9 minutes and 20 seconds, 27 seconds. 
with denatured alcohol, the boil time was 5 minutes and 8 seconds compared to 514 and the heat was 5 minutes 35 seconds compared to 514. I think this probably would have boiled just a little bit better if I had cleaned off the condensation. But at any rate, I'm happy with that. When I look at the price, the availability, I think I'm going to switch over to methanol myself. Now it may not be that easy to get, you know, if you're on the trail like the Appalachian Trail or something and you have to re-supply uh, from these little local stores, they're more than likely not going to carry methanol. They would carry, I guess, heat, which when I look at the tag that I got from this, it has a CAS registration number of the methanol that I got. It's number 67-56-1, methyl alcohol. When you look on the heat bottles, it has a CAS number, which I don't know what the CAS stands for. 67-56-1. It's the same notice number on these things. So I get the impression that this is methanol, but the methanol that I bought from uh, from uh, Kelly Racing Fuels is a pharmaceutical grade, so it's even purer and higher. So, hmm, interesting. I, like I said, I think I'm, I'm going to change over to methanol because I go through so much of this stuff. But I'd like to thank JP the Man One for suggesting this and giving me a clue as to where to find it. And I thank Richard Perone, the owner of Kelly Racing Fuels, for educating me on methanol. And I thank you for watching my videos. And as always, I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions like JP the Man made. And watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's who the thick and thin.